Hello readers! Today I thought I was going to do the Asgardian book tag. It was created by Brianna and Adash Vash and I will link their like things. I will link it down below. You'll you'll find it. I was so inspired to do this because I love Rick Ryder's work. I freaking love Percy Jackson. I love Magnus Chase. So this is going to be amazing to do. Um, just found a dash of ash and I was like you love Percy Jackson I love it too woo like let's be friends so yeah I'm gonna do this because I was so excited to do this when I saw us saw her video and this is gonna be so much fun so stay tuned this tag is inspired by the characters and different things different aspects of the uh, Magnus Chase trilogy so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this first it is Freya pick your motherly, your favourite motherly uh, book character and I went with Mother from A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness because I feel that she really wants to give Connor a normal childhood and not really... I want to... I, I don't really want to say bother but I can't think of another word so I'm gonna go with bother. She doesn't want to bother him with her illness and sort of make him like lose his childhood. She wants to be a healthy mother for him but sadly she can't and I just wanted to uh, mention her because I thought that her fight was brilliant and she did such a good job and she tried to be so like much of a mother but I mean she was already like the best mother around. I thought she was just amazing. So yeah I'm gonna go with mother from Amongst the Calls. The next one is Loki and he is sort of a like trickstery character and uh, a trickster god. So I'm going to go with Peeves from the Harry Potter series because I love Peeves. He's so annoying. He's like so beyond annoying. It's crazy. But still he manages to like not care at all and he's so funny. He's responsible for so many laughs in this series. I completely love him. Um, I was going to mention the twins as well, but I feel that Peeves is more deserving of this title anyway because it's like his sole purpose. Being a trickster is definitely like his only reason to be at Hogwarts even. The best poltergeist around. The next one is Odin and the thing we do here is pick your favourite uh, fictional kingdom. And I went with Fillory from The Magicians by Lev Grossman. I thought that Fillory was amazing. There's like every different kind of creature imaginable in this kingdom and it is cool and it's dark and horrible and stuff happens there that are completely beyond crazy. So I thought that it was quite worthy of a mention and I just enjoyed reading about Fillory so much. So if you haven't read The Magicians then please do because it is amazing. The next one is Thor and if you've read like the Magnus Chase books then you will know that he has some unexpected traits. So now I'm supposed to pick a character with unexpected traits and it was kind of difficult actually. Um, I ended up picking Aiden from the Illuminae Files. I thought that he... <laughs> yeah, he... He surprised me so many times and I was like, is this really gonna happen? And I was like, are we doing this? Okay. Um, no, but I really enjoyed reading through Aiden's perspective in this and I thought he was really cool and really scary and amazing. So yeah, I was, it was quite unexpected actually. Okay, the next one is Yggdrasil which is basically a sort of mythical tree that can move through different realms and yeah, I don't even know what I'm doing with my hands. But anyway, I'm supposed to put, pick a book with interdimensional travels and I picked City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare because shadow hunters do crazy shit. That's all I'm saying, they do crazy shit. Nearly dropped my book there, oh my god. The next one is Valhalla and I'm supposed to pick a book which has a uh, afterlife or religion. And I went with First Life by Gina Showalter, 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 
I don't know how to say your last name, I'm sorry. But anyway, in this book you get to choose two different, like choose between two different um, realms after you die. So, yeah. That's what this is about. It is the first book in the Everlife trilogy, so pick it up if you haven't got it already. Next one is Hell, and you're supposed to pick a um, half-breed. Yeah, half-breed. That's how you say it. And I went with Magnus Bane from the Shadowhunter Chronicles, and yes, I picked the Bane Chronicles because it's all about Magnus Bane and I love it. No, do not mess with Malik. But 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 anyway. No, um Magnus Bane is a warlock, which means that he is half demon, half mundane. So half breed. For Mjolnir, you're supposed to pick a like Im an important mythical artifact or whatever. A an an important bookish artifact, we'll just say that, yeah. And I went with the One Ring from The Lord of the Rings. And I haven't got my Lord of the Rings books here, they're at my dad's, so yeah. But anyway, I picked the One Ring. Miss Fenris Wolf, and you're supposed to pick a book with werewolves in it. I don't really have any werewolf, like, main antagonist books, so I went with Dead Until Dark, which is the first one of the Sookie Stackhouse series. There are werewolves in there. <laughs> yeah, werewolves. For Magnus Chase, you're supposed to pick a young warrior, and for this one I picked Emma Carstairs from Lady Midnight, but really focusing on City of Heavenly Fire because that is when she's a teeny tiny warrior, and she's so cute and angry. Last one is Samira, or Sam in the books. I'm going to pick Elias Vitorius from An Ember in the Ashes because he is a rebellious teenager, which is the category that I'm going for here. Uh, Elias Vitorius is supposed to be this uh, in this like school for making like an army, and he's supposed to be really good about this because something or other that I can't really mention. I was almost gonna spoil you guys. Whoo! Crisis averted. Crisis averted. Okay. Um, yeah, he is a rebellious teenager. That is all I can really tell you at this point. If you had read this, then you know what I'm talking about, but yeah. Ah, oh, Elias. I'm going to tag anyone who wants to do this video, and if you do, then please tell me, because I really look forward to seeing all of your videos. If you enjoyed this video, then please click the thumbs button down below, or subscribe for more craziness.